I'm speaking briefly to clear the air, number one, because people who are going about saying things about me do not know me. They know me. All of those statements, they will apologize. I'm a very tolerant person. Number two, why I need to speak is because of my friends and most of our lot of pastors who are full of members. And the full of members have been so, some of you pastors, they have, yeah, they have members who are full of this. Many of them. They are so concerned. They say, Daddy, we know you love us. Number three, why we just say a few things is because of the Christians who are out with serious zeal to defend, but they need to know what they are defending. Are you following what I'm saying? And number four, why I think I need to say something very clearly is for the nation. I have a driver who drives me whenever I'm in Lagos. He's a Muslim. Am I correct? He's a Muslim. He has been driving me for nine years and I've bought him two cars. If I'm not tolerant, a Muslim will not drive me. One day, we had to, there was an issue that happened at the gate. And I said, I will see all the security men at the gate. While they were judging, I discovered one of them was a Muslim at the gate. I'm, I'm afraid we have people here to confirm. Was a Muslim. And I said, How long has he been a Muslim be here? They said, He's been here for a long time. And he was their supervisor, chief security. No, because when you hear people make comments online, he said, Muslim should be Christian. How can he? I just ignore them because your viewpoint is what determines your point of view. What's not your intention should not get your attention. They don't even know me. When the man came, that is a risk. Many pastors do not even try it. A Muslim be your chief security. That shows how tolerant. I don't know if you are following what I'm saying. You are. But I have an auntie. I'm from the Muslim. That's why I said most people who are talking about me do not even know me. It is the Muslims who have been calling me and saying, Apostle, ignore these people because we know you. We know what you said on the tape. Now, I come from the Muslim family. Some are Christians now, some are still Muslims. Can I stop taking care of them because they are Muslims? I have an auntie who has a children in the house. She's a Muslim, she doesn't come to church. She only comes to see me when there's no sense. I just wish to be in her house. She's my auntie. She watched us grow. I'm saying that because people do not even know. My anger is that the fool that me hates men who are killing people. And I will not withdraw my statement. I will not apologize. The fool that me, not the fool that me nation. The fool that me hates men. And the truth is I'm happy that the governors in Nigeria today just came to, to agree with what I'm saying. And they issued a statement that these heads men are not even Nigerians. But is that what I is, is that what I said? Now how can you call a man a religious big god and all that? And yet last Sunday a young man came to me, he's from Avieli, with a video in, on his phone. He's a pastor. Muslims entered into his church, chased out all the Christians, spread their mats on the ground, took the mic from him, and began to pray Islamic prayers in the church. Now, if I am a religious bigot, I would say, no, let's go and fight. If he was to leave the youth, I said, no. When you hear stories, you hear issues, investigate before you comment. That's what Nigerians do. They just read something. Oh, oh. That is how you know people's character and people's mental capacity. Because every deep man processes information before commenting on them. When well, Nigeria can read something now and comment now, yes. So you don't take such people seriously. How much is that? A hundred naira. Hundred naira. You don't you don't read and react to people who have not. Um, 
and I'm not talking issues. But I feel like this. Let me give you an example. Any of Kano is a human man. Huh? But he's an intelligent man. He's a Muslim. There was a church that was destroyed. I'm talking of Samusi, any of Kano. There was a church that was destroyed. He built it. So, will I tell people to work in such a person? He built, he rebuilt it. I'm talking about this about him in the church. He rebuilt it. The full and the people who are very enlightened understand. They call me. They tell me, I'm also relaxed. They know what's going on. The reason I'm going to speak now is because the headsmen who am I, I'm angry against are happy that it has become a religious problem. Three days ago, around that full city, they raped a woman to death. Am I correct? Two years ago. So my anger, like I said, I will not withdraw my statement. And those of you who are my children and pastors need to know what I'm fighting for. So that in case you stand tomorrow, you can stand and say, this is what our father is fighting for. Not Muslims. I have no problem with Muslims. I'm just telling you certain Muslims who are surrounded, who are surrounded me. If you want to win people, you must be tolerant of them. If you are not tolerant, you can't win them. That's if you need to win them. I don't know if you have to So if you are granting interviews, your target should be where? The headsmen who are killers. Like I said to somebody, somebody said, just withdraw your statement, you should leave the headsmen alone. I said, I will never withdraw that statement. When the headsmen are killing people, and even the government, the sincere people in government, are against the headsmen who are killers. Am I saying the truth? That's my position. I wish I was talking to somebody. Yes, sir. That's my position. That's my position. When I even heard, I even heard that the video, the church, the, the young man who they entered this church, the video was going viral. I called because that's one viral. I called him. I said, Why are you spreading the video? I said, Because what you are doing is capable of inciting Christians. Am I talking to somebody? Look at the way some of you shouted when I said Muslims entered into the church. It shows your capacity that you are not mature. That's why you are, ah, ah, no, you don't do that. When you hear such information, you are calm. Because Christianity is peace. Are you following me? It's peace. When you the heads men who are taking care of cattle, who are nomads, you see them with stick. They are still everywhere. But this particular heads men carry God. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. AK 47. Are you following me? And like I said, I will repeat it over and over. If you have to arrest me because I said Fulani heads men should be attacked before they attack you. I don't know. You expect me to say that if, if somebody wants to kill me, I should offer him coffee. I say, take coffee, take drink, look at my neck. I won't do that. I'm not a coward. Amen. And there's something they would need. The press has entered into it. And I'm making money off it. I did a video, make it. When some people met me in um, the press, I think, and they pointed their midget to me. And I said something, and it was cleverly edited and presented to picture me like somebody who is ready to fight the government. No man of God would do that. What did I say? I was in the car making, because when the issue was going on, my people were sending messages. All right? So I was in the car with the governor, and I was making messages saying, Calm down, you are fine. Calm down, things are okay. Calm down. So I would don't protest. But you calm down, everything is okay. So the journalist asked them and said, What was all those people that came to calm down? And I said, I have churches in 51 nations. That if I am behind bars for one day, the damage it will cause to the reputation of the country, in the nation where I have churches, will take me one year to repair. But what did they say? They cut it. And they said, I said, if I'm arrested and I stay behind bars, in other words, if I'm arrested, I will scatter energy. I don't know if you understand my point. That's what, and that's what people want to hear. So they hear that. Oh, oh. I don't know if you have what I'm saying. I want to know the many sides that I'm making. So, till tomorrow, stand your ground. 
the headsmen who are killing should be dealt with. Now, my, my, my problem is they are making it political, like um, um, I am a PDP. Now, let me say this that Nigerians do not even know. Let me shock them. My father, that gave it to me, is the end of APC in Auchi. So you cannot see that people have been political. My father, my biological father, is the head, is the APC leader of Auchi. If I were to be political, not that I'm here to follow. But I'm not interested, I'm not partisan, I'm not in any party, I'm not in support of any party. It doesn't matter what the name it is, I'm not interested. And nobody should use me to score a political point. Are you following me? Nobody should use me to stop. I still repeat it. Let's go after these headsmen that are killing people. Do you support me? These headsmen that are taking life. Every true Nigerian who is a real Nigerian will say, no way, you cannot come from whatever nation. Now, do you know how angry I am now? How angry I am that these people are not even from Nigeria. And so Nigerians are competing. Why would you say, why would you say they should kill? Why would you say, you mean we should allow people from another country to come and kill us in Nigeria? And I should keep quiet? I won't keep quiet. I will never withdraw my statement. I won't keep quiet. But I'm trying to let you know we have no business. Even this, can I shock you? This Fulani heads men, some of them even kill Muslims in the north. They even kill some Muslims. So this is something that both Christians and Muslims should team together and fight them. You are not even following what I'm talking about. These heads, men, you, you know how annoying it is to even know they are not even Nigerians. It's more annoying. So that this one, you came to our country to come and kill lives. And other Nigerians that say we should keep quiet and not talk will not be quiet. I said we will not keep quiet. Yes, sir. That each that has entered our country to want to take life. So I'm trying to let you know because somebody who is, some guy who is a Muslim, watch that thing back and back and back. Because what they did, even in the tent that has been separated, is they pick the parts. Yes, that's what they did. They pick the part that will infuriate people and put it on the internet. Because if you listen to my conversation, you will discover I was talking against killings before I mentioned myself as an example. But they pick the part. Yeah, the part they want to hear. And you know Nigerians, we do not go for the content, we go for the container. Nigerians don't go, most Nigerians don't go for the content, they go for the container. They are not deep people. So I'm going to clear that end to some of you. So in case you are talking, you will also be on the same page with me. They will not hide. What I want to say finally is that the way people have been talking on the internet, talking, if that was the way, or that's the way they've been talking against the full and the heads men, by now they have escaped. Yeah. The way they have been attacking me, Muslim, Christian, Muslim, that's not even what I'm talking about. What's my focus now? Is the heads men I'm talking about? Because Islam is not my problem. There are some of you who say you are Christians, you are Christians, you are Christians. Some Muslims are more loyal than you. I'm sorry to say. Some Muslims are more loyal. Are you getting my point? So my worry is the headsman. And I will not stop talking about if I see killings being done, I'll speak my mind. You know, you know your person. I'm not a coward. I will not say something and go back on it. I repeat it. The headsmen don't deserve to live. The full and the headsmen that are killing people, not full and the people. Full and the people that are nice full and the people. Well, many of them are our children. Many of them are our friends. So that you get the proper perspective of what I'm saying. Do you understand it? That's what they're saying. So God, God will help us in this country where we have people who want to incite and make statements. I'm not interested. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not interested. That if we fight, it's not for ourselves. If we fight, those that we feel the pain are our children. Are you following me? Those that we feel the pain our children and we do not need it we do not need it